Right then, hello and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 2. We're going to carry on now with the Proving Grounds Championships. Unfortunately, the next one in the list is the all-wheel drive shootout, but we don't actually have a four-wheel drive car or an all-wheel drive car, and we don't actually have enough money to buy another one. I only got 7,000 credits. So the next championship then is going to be the rear-wheel drive shootout. And we have seven cars eligible for this one. We have the 1970 Porsche 914 6, the uh, 1985 Toyota Sprinter, the uh, 2001 Mazda Speed Roadster. Um, I don't really know what car we're going to go for. Um, the Renault Sport Clio. Ooh, that is, uh, that is quite a choice. I might go for the Clio, actually. Um, I was tempted to use the Lancia Stratos and put the Alitalia livery on it. But as we're still in the proving grains, it's just literally race what you brung. So I'm not going to worry about complex liveries just yet until we get into the championships. Um, so that'll be coming up later on. So we're going to go for the 2003 Renault Sport Clio V6 RS. And we got the first race then at Death Adder, then Copperhead and Diamondback. And all of these are reversed. That's why you got like a little reverse uh, emblem on uh, the uh, little icon there. And I just need to go and get the uh, rear wheel drive shootout logo as well for the thumbnail. So off we go then. Watch exciting live race fees from current tournaments and races on Forza Motorsport TV. Yes, I know it's Forza. But I say Forza because I am a degenerate. Um, yeah, it's, again, it's still a shame that you haven't got the uh, the online capabilities of the game anymore. But anyway, we are, yeah, this is going to be an easy championship. We're on pole position by a country mile uh, with a C-Class card. And you got Sasaki, Yoshida, Watanabe, Brown, Kato, Mora, and Ito. The top eight. And here we go then. One. Go. And look at that. We just pull away at the start. Actually, I need to slow down, let them catch up a bit, because that's going to make for uh, an interesting thumbnail. I don't want to just pull away at the very start and leave them all in the dust. So come on, catch up. Come on, catch up, I say. There we go. A little bit more. Luckily, they do put the brakes on when they're right up your chuff, so they're not likely to pass you. Oh, they are uh, slamming into each other, though. Got the Alteza behind as well. So, yeah, easy championship, this one. Just get it over and done with. Because uh, I do want to move on. I do want to get more money as well to buy some more fancier cars for later championships. Especially the all-wheel drive shootout. Oh. oh, nope. Sticky grass. Come on. The thing is as well is that I don't really want to do any grinding off screen because you do get a lot of upgrades and little things from manufacturers when you do up upgrade or level up your car and your your main level itself so i would rather do that on screen um just so you can see everything that the game has to offer rather than grinding for money off screen leveling up the car and then you miss a load of stuff so Car doesn't have that good a handling. But then it is a Clio. Oh, there we go. Over the crest and the rear end just breaks loose. But we are absolutely miles ahead, so we don't have to worry about that at all. There we go. One corner to go, and we get the victory for race number one. Hooray! Fan bloody tastic. So yeah, save that replay, please. Uh, championships will become increasingly harder uh, as you go on, but we get the uh, 1600 credits, so that'll go nicely. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to get to uh, level 11 by this point. But hey, a little bit of extra money goes a long, long way. And we'll be able to buy the all-wheel drive car for the next championship. So next race end, Copperhead, reverse. Smoothly let off the brakes as you begin turning. Any friction used to decelerate can't be used for turning. Well, yes, we all know that already. Loading times are rather good as well in this game. A lot better than the first one. Anyway, we're on pole position again. Don't have to worry about the, uh, the starting order. And... Go! And how wonderful it is to redline the car at the very start without a little damage indicator coming up saying, Oh, you've damaged your engine! Bad boy! Because that is one thing that really ticks me off about the first game, is the constant over-revving and damaging your engine. I am so happy they got rid of that for this game. Ooh, careful. No, we got a penalty. Ah. Oh, drift. No, it didn't quite drift. Lost too many revs. Not pulling away as quickly as I thought we were going to, though. Well, now we are. Let's have a look at our Clio, shall we? Yeah, that is a Clio. I've seen the the recent iteration of the Renault Clio as well during the... Uh, the European Clio Championship. It doesn't look half bad. It kind of has... Well, it's... A bit like all new cars these days, they have bigger grills, which the the new Clio does have. Um, but the front of it looks more like an old Vauxhall Astra. Oh, okay then. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't think I'm going to win this race. Well then, um, Sasaki's gonna win. And I'm gonna finish fifth. Well, that's an embarrassment. It's alright. We're just gonna have to do that race again. It's not a long race. So, um... Yeah, there we go. Well, that is a shame. I'm gonna save that replay anyway. And I'm not just going to go to um, uh, restart. I'm going to click on continue because I'm still going to get some money. And the more money we can get, the better, really. But yeah, the new uh, edition of the Renault Clio, the new uh, version. Uh, similar rear end. The rear end is still exactly the same as the, uh, the previous iteration, but the front end looks um, a lot different. Like I said, it's got a bigger grille. It's got, you know, a, or a wider mouth. Um, as all cars do these days, what is it with new cars and the competition to have the biggest grill? It's like the BMWs, they got massive grill, the, uh, oh, what other car, the Lexus, that's got a huge ass grill on it. I don't know. There was that meme going around for ages, like, in the end, the whole front of a BMW is going to be the front grill. And you know what, at this stage, I believe them. I don't think that's going to be far off from the truth, to be fair. Don't you do it again. There we go. And I apologize as well if my voice is a little bit on the croaky side. Um, went down with like a bit of a throat infection. And the uh, the seven hour live stream I done on uh, the 8th of April didn't help that at all. So I'm still recovering from that. It's surprising how dry your voice box gets after seven hours of talking. But that was enjoyable. I really enjoyed the uh, doing a live stream. I'll have to definitely do more of them in the uh, near future because it was a good laugh, you know, just having a chat with everyone and yeah, it was fun. It was a good. Uh, it was a good laugh. Right, 
Right, this time, I will not spin the car. There we go. That's better. That's what I wanted to do on the previous version of the race. Leading by two seconds. Almost three. Come on, drift the ass end around. There we go. It loses too much oomph. When you think you got a good drift going, the, the engine revs just die and the car just slows to a crawl. Anyway, handbrake it across the line, and we win. And I'm not even going to bother with the replay on that one. 1,600 credits once again. So, lovely. That is two out of two. Or technically two out of three, because I didn't win the previous one. Right. Diamond back for the last race. Tournaments pit you against other racers in elimination events, earning you credits along the way. Do they now? Well, they used to. Not anymore. Which is really sad, but oh well. And the birds are singing. The spectators are cheering. The engines are revving, and away we go. Perfect slide. Kill the cones. Lovely. Nice little lead. I do like this little bump going into the next turn. Of course, when your car is not unstable like this one is, then you can get some good air going over that little bump. Right, final lap. And that'll be another championship wrapped up, which would be really cool. Like I said, once we get into the main bulk of the career, like the proper championships, um, then I'll start putting more intricate liveries on the cars as well. Um, again, like the Alitalia livery that I was going to put on the Lancia Stratos. Uh, that one would take me a, a good hour or so to do. But, uh, yeah, I thought uh, instead of doing that for these championships, because again, they're just proving grains. They're just tutorial championships, really. Um, then it's not really much point, but once we get into the main bulk of the game, then, uh, then yeah, I'll start putting on some more elaborate liveries on the cars, just to make them look a little bit more racy. Uh, not quite a lot of air over the bump, but enough. Last it around the last corner. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I overcorrected a bit too much. Oh well, we got it done. Um, that's going to give me a, a little bit of a damage penalty, but it's fine. We can afford it. It's probably going to be like 300 credits. Okay then. I damaged the front of my car, but no damage penalty. Okay then, I I am not complaining. That is more money for me. Um, but yeah, how bizarre. That was definitely a lot of front end damage. Anyway, look at that. We've been awarded the 1992 Lancia Delta Integrale Evo. Ooh, I am gonna have fun remaking the uh, Martini livery on this thing. And uh, that was actually really popular back in the day. I did recreate perfectly to the pixel the martini livery and i made two versions i made the light blue version uh which was a special alternate livery and i made the regular you know red and blue 
and I put them on the marketplace. It sold like hotcakes. It was really, really popular. It was one of my most popular liveries I'd created. But here it is. It's going to be in red. Of course it is. Same color as it was in Forza Motorsport 1. But that is a gorgeous car. I do really love the uh, the Delta Integrale. If I had the money, I would literally buy one. Because I do love these cars. Because it's boxy, you know, it's typical, you know, late 80s, early 90s style. It's a boxy shape. You recognize what the car is immediately. Unlike cars of today, which all look the same, and you're, you can't tell if it's a Ford Escort or a Ford Fiesta or a Ford Ka. You don't know. Anyway, you completed the rear-wheel drive shootout, your 5,000 credits... Uh, from driver at level 11. You have 14,000 credits in the bank. Where to? Um, nowhere, because that is the end of the video. And next time, it's going to be the all-wheel drive shootout. And I will be buying the car, which we're going to be using, is going to be the Audi A4. Or the S4. I apologize, is there an A4? No. No, RS6, RS4. No, it's got to be the S4, though. Look at that. Um, color, I'm not really picky about what color I'll be using because I'll be putting a livery on this anyway. You can all gather what the, uh, the livery is going to be. In fact, I just realized that I cannot afford it. Even with the 30% discount, I cannot afford this car. Um, so I'm going to have to sell one of the old cars that I'm not ever going to use anymore. Let's have a look. What car have we already used? Um... The Honda Civic we could keep for the moment. The Volkswagen... I don't know. That, I don't think we're ever going to use that car. Uh, Cobalt... Uh, oh, decisions, decisions. Um, you know, we could buy another one of these. So I'm going to sell the uh, Honda Civic and uh, buy the... Uh, yeah, I'll sell the car. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that livery I put on there anyway. It's a bit too weird. So there we go. We've got plenty of money now. 22,000. So let's go and buy our Audi S4. And then we can do the all-wheel drive shoe tank next time. So yeah, with that, I'm going to leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And I will see you next time for the all-wheel drive shoe tank. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.